I will now confer on the candidates who are presented to me the respective honorary doctorates. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Wolfgang Huber and the request that you confer on him the degree Doctor of Philosophy honoris causa. The decision by Council and Senate to award him this degree has been taken on the grounds of the following considerations. Wolfgang Huber's ties with South Africa began in the 1960s during his involvement with the Protestant Institute for Interdisciplinary Research in Heidelberg. His pioneering study in 1972 on the public role of church and faith became a seminal contribution to what is now known as public theology, with which Stellenbosch University is associated worldwide. He taught at Marburg, Heidelberg, and in America from 1980 to 1994. As an academic theologian, he established himself internationally as a leading social ethical thinker and influential public intellectual, and involved himself with South African ecclesial initiatives and study projects. His intellectual force is demonstrated by his authoritative publications on democratization, justice, and human rights, freedom and solidarity, conflict and peace, bioethics, and the ethics of science, education, and social care, public values and policy, the role of the media, and the witness of the church, as well as on ethics as a discipline. Near the Vice Chancellor from 1993 to his arrest in 2009 was Wolfgang Huber, a Protestant bishop in Berlin, Brandenburg, and voorzitter of the Landweier Raad of the Protestant Church in Duitsland. He is reeds an Ere Professor in Berlin and Heidelberg, dien in talle openbare lichame and lever openbare diens op vele maniere. He was a leiersfigur in the international ecumenische beweging in Duitsland, Elders in Europa and in South Africa, van wie sy betrokkenheid by die Suid-Afrikaanse Raad van Kerke, wat teen apartheid was, toe dit nog hoogtij gevier het, as ook dier verskye amtelike besoeke. Hy was onder meer president van die invloedrijke protestantse Kirchentag, was actief betrokken in die vredesbeweging in die 80er jare, en was tot 2001 een uitvoerende komiteelid van die Wereldraad van Kerke. As a public figure, Huber represents the voice of the Christian faith in public life, the media, and the formation of public opinion in Germany. He has served in key national commissions, provides important social, political, and moral leadership. A fetch grift dedicated to him contains contributions from, among others, two former German presidents. He has received many awards and prizes, including an honorary doctorate from Warsaw in Poland. Professor Huber has visited South Africa often. He maintains academic cooperation with his country and cherishes his close ties with South Africa, particularly Stellenbosch University. He is a patron of the university's HOPE project, often acts internationally in the university's interest, and is a research fellow of the Stellenbosch Institute for Advanced Study. A chapter in his 2012 biography is dedicated to South Africa and makes special reference to Stellenbosch University. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, I hereby request that you confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy Honoris Causa on Wolfgang Huber for his extensive and influential contribution as an academic, a church leader, public figure, and opinion shaper on social ethics in Germany and internationally, including South Africa. I hereby confer on you, Wolfgang Huber, the degree Doctor of Philosophy Honoris Causa. Congratulations. Vice Chancellor, dignitaries, guests, uh, again the commendatio already motivated why Wolfgang Huber received an honorary doctorate today for decades of service to our country as an ecumenical leader, a public figure, a scholar and an ethicist. My toast is more personal, paying tribute to his contribution with Cara to the lives of so many in our university community, students, alumni, 
colleagues. I was, for example, surprised by the many Stellenbosch honorary doctorates among their friends. Both Laurie and Denise Ackermann, Jaap Durant and Willy Jonker, Bernard Latigan and John de Grouchy, Jake Scherwel and Desmond Tutu, Beus Nodea. To mention only one such friendship, but without permission, in his dissertation, Vice Chancellor Botman used Huber's work to situate his own research and one could argue his whole life project. He was referring to lectures here in Stellenbosch on the role of hope in situations of transition. And with this he captured a central theme of Huber's, namely hope. His first visit in 1986 was to address the South African Council of Churches on hope in crisis. And since then the titles of several of his books mention hope together with trust, courage and responsibility. With René Kuchlenberg, I once heard Huber discuss a key text from the prison writings of Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Bonhoeffer asked about success in life and said the final question for responsible people is never how can I get out of crises while saving face, but rather how is the coming generation to live? The next generation, Bonifer said, will always instinctively know which of these questions we are acting upon, serving ourselves or building their future. You helped us, Dr. Huber, to ask how the next generation will live, many of us. This is true of our rector, but also of other South Africans and Stellenboschers who benefited from your friendship, your scholarship, and your intellectual leadership. We gratefully raise our glasses to toast you and Kara. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, Mr. Ambassador, dignitaries, guests, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I have to react spontaneously but I take you for a moment to the 10th of May, 1994. I had become bishop in Berlin the 1st of May, and I ha had left my academic teaching position. And the 10th day in the new office, I was waiting for visitors. The visitors came from South Africa. And they arrived in my office exactly in the moment, in the hour at least, when Nelson Mandela took over office as the president of a free, united, democratic South Africa. Perhaps you can imagine how moving this moment was for me. Knowing South Africa, knowing Stellenbosch even before, South Africa from studies since the 70s, from the first very dramatic visit in 1986, from the first teaching obligation at Stellenbosch University in 87, already on human rights in this time, and experiencing since 1990, February, that things changed in this country, and the taking over the presidency of this country by Nelson Mandela on the 10th of May 1994 was the decisive point in history for my understanding and for my personal and Cara and my personal relationship to this country. We knew the suffering, we knew the hopes, and we understood, we thought at least, the de depth of change in this country. And therefore, I stand here simply to congratulate you for the 20 years of democracy and the rule of human rights in this country. And we simply want to join this celebration. I know that there are many reasons to lament at the same time 
some aspects of the present situation in this country. And I admit, when I would have been here last Saturday, I would have gone to District 6 and to Cape Town to take part in the expression of this lamentation. However, I invite you in this moment to take over some of my deep convictions that were growing over the time and which I put from time to time in the sentence, my hope is stronger than my fear. And I would like to join you in celebrating this moment in history with the same kind of attitude. I have to express Kara's and my deep gratitude, especially to the friends and colleagues here in Stellenbosch. I cannot name them all because they are too much. But I would express especially my gratitude to Dirkie Smit, he who knows, together with Willem Fury, his doctoral students, my work better than I know it. <laughs> and I would also like to, to mention René Kuchelenberg, who was my first student from the South Africa, my first doctoral students, and a lot of people, Humboldt Fellows and others, came in the time after. I'm proud to serve under the deanship of Nico Koopman, under the chairperson of systematic theology, Robert Voslo, and I ask all other people, please accept that I cannot mention you all. And you all are not only friends for me, but also for Kara, who is my decisive inspiration in my many ways in different parts of the world, especially to Stellen Bosch. It's moving, it's an honor to be here, especially why, because I never forget the first visit in August 87. Very nice students, all male, all white. Very nice, but a lack of diversity. Coming back, sitting at the Milan uh, Center today, and to see that diversity and inclusion in diversity is not a dream, but a reality in this university, is a reason to congratulate the Vice Chancellor, all who work in this field so successfully, and to wish and to pray that this success continues and that hope is stronger than all anxieties. Thank you very much. <laughs>